working on a new project today. We'll be installing this RGB LED light strip in my computer. So, uh, if you buy this LED light strip, it comes as a bundle with all of these things. So, this is the RGB controller. Here you have the remote, the strip itself. It's a 5050 LED light strip, works on 12 volts. So, we'll be uh, good to go with the computer. So, no need of any adapters or anything. We can straight away tap the 12 volts of the power supply and this is the connector which goes into this controller and this I snipped off the adapter, the power adapter for this uh, because the power adapter stopped working I just snipped it off. So this is how the peripheral connector of the power supply looks like and you can wire this thing directly off the power supply. So it goes in like this over here and you can tip this up and probably need to connect some extension wire because this is too small and this one goes into this RGB controller and that's it but to make my work easier and to make it look neat I have this connector laying around so this side goes into the power supply connector uh, just like this and on the other side there is a fan header and I coincidentally have this thing lying around too this is a connector which I snipped off a dead fan. So I snipped that connector off of this. It is connected over here. So we have that. And I can then wire these off to this uh, connector over here. It will just look more neat and I don't have to wire anything directly to the power supply. So we have that. So let's go ahead and first wire this thing into the computer. Alright, so getting the polarity correct is of importance here and from this connector I can tell that this wire goes into the positive side and this one goes into the negative side and this is just the connector which goes into the RGB controller. So on your PC power supply, this wire will go into the yellow wire and this one will go into either one of these black wires. But as you can see, and by the way, do this when your PC is turned off. Don't do this when your PC is turned off. You might risk shorting these out and uh, blowing some fuse inside the power supply and you will be in trouble. So as you can see, these wires are transparent. I can't really get to know directly which, uh, which wire is positive and which one is negative. So all you need to do is trace these wires back to the connector over there. So this one is positive. You can trace this back to over here you can see this one goes into the middle one so this is positive side so I can just connect this and this one goes into the negative side and I can then wrap a heat shrink around this or I can tape these up since I'm on a budget here I will just tape these up so here you can see I've connected this extension wire to the Molex connector or peripheral connector of the power supply so here we have the outlet so let's test this thing out before we do anything else so here is our connector that we just taped up this goes into the RGB controller and hey everything is working so I can use the remote to change the colors is pretty awesome cool huh so now we gotta tuck this thing in over here and then uh, just paste these LEDs on the edges of the case as you can see I've installed the LED strip around the case along the edges and installed it from over here all the way here and now we are on the edge again so this much strip still remains and by the way you can cut this strip along this so I will be cutting this strip it won't affect the performance there is a connector over here you can buy another RGB controller and use the rest of the LED strip and one connector is over here which will go into our RGB controller so I will cut this strip here join this and then we'll power this thing up and take a look okay so what I've done here is taken off the plastic covering of the controller and I've covered it up with tape so that nothing shorts out I've done this because uh, this thing was a little too big uh, to be 
sitting over here so what I'll do is put this on the other side possibly somewhere over here and have the IR controller and have the IR receiver somewhere over here so that I can control this uh, from the front of the case so let me just try and install this here is the controller I've used a double sided tape to mount this and so we're gonna go ahead and close the case and the sensor is poking out from over here I don't know if you can see there it is so technically it should work with the front cover on because there is a fan grill in front of this thing and yeah there is a lot of space I can add another hard drive over here since there is no big fat controller sitting over here and right now this is running on lowest brightness I can use the remote control to control the brightness and the colors so it is working with the case open so let's see if it works with the case closed alright so the front cover is on let me turn the fan on so there you go fans are running so let's see if the remote controller still works so it does work but it kinda of requires me to hook the remote controller almost in front of the fan so if I turn the fans off yeah I need to really poke the remote controller way in the front but that doesn't matter because nothing is poking out from over here so it is seamless we take a look at from the front of the PC kind of looks cool so let me turn the light off and then we'll take a look take a look at this guys this ice blue color looks really cool and this flickering is not visible in real life it's just the camera which is picking up but yeah from here you can't even see the LEDs so you can just see the light coming from these edges of the case but yeah here are the LEDs installed looks cool and let's change the color of this thing so so this is kind of purple you can see all of these cables are kind of glowing so I'm really satisfied with this project. PC looks cool. But yeah, I really need to point the remote control at the uh, in the front of the case, but wow, this red color looks even cool. So white. So white is kind of bluish white, but nonetheless looks cool yellow green ice blue and blue and I can also have this strobing effect yeah no this kind of strains my eyes I think this is cool Alright guys, thank you for watching this video, do stay tuned for more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time.